guys i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel empath oasis for today's video we're going to be doing it on the topic of why did they betray you so we have three options here for you guys but before i list off your options real quick just want to say thank you to those who have been supporting my channel and booking personal readings with me uh, also those who have been donating i really appreciate all of you guys if you would like more information on me as a reader or ways that you can help support me and this channel, you can check out the information in the caption of this video. But okay, let's list off your options for group one. I have the world. Group two is the empress and group three is page of inspirations. So take a deep breath guys and think of the person you are inquiring about and then pick whichever image you feel most drawn to if you need more time you can pause the video timestamps will be available in the caption hey group one if you chose this card the world this is your reading for why did they betray you okay so let's first take a look at characteristics of this person during this portion of the reading, this is when you guys will be able to identify whether or not you picked an accurate reading. If this does not sound like your person, please return back to the selection portion of this video and try again. But for this group, I pulled the Hierophant, Princess of Swords Reverse, and Nine of Swords Reverse. So characteristics of this person. So I feel like you definitely have a history with this person. Some of you, this is someone that you've been in a committed relationship to for a long period of time. Some of you may even know this person from childhood. They could even be your family. Um, lots of scenarios coming through here. So only take what resonates. So I feel like these people, they're pretty immature. Uh, they can be very impulsive. I feel like these people are also liars um, or just very insecure or they're cowards. Um, these people, I feel like they have a hard time confronting their problems. So they struggle with a lot of mental turmoil because of that. And this can get projected into your connection with them. But yeah, I feel like these people kind of do their best to avoid like the harsher lessons in life. But this ends up just creating uh, more imbalance in their life because they do this, because they're so avoidant. So what did these people do to you guys to betray you? I pulled three of pentacles, three of cups, and five of swords reverse. So I feel like this definitely was like a third party situation. This could have been either a platonic or a romantic third party. And if this was not a third party situation, what I feel like these people did to betray you guys was I feel like these people shifted the dynamic in this connection um, from being, you know, you guys having good energy between the two of you to this person becoming like competitive with you guys. Um, I feel like this person, how they might have betrayed some of you, uh, was through trying to block or steal opportunities from you, or they could have just done some real underhanded stuff so that they could see themselves in an advantage position over like you. Um, only take what resonates. I'm not really seeing too much else with this group. So why did these people betray you? Let's now look at that. I pulled six of swords reverse. The hangman reversed and the devil reversed. So if this was like a third party situation, a romantic one, I feel like this person pretty much betrayed you because they were too much of a coward to do the dirty work in this situation. I feel like this person um, wanted to, you know, they wanted you guys to go your separate ways. Um, some of these people may have felt like they told you this they expressed this to you but it was met with a lot of resistance um and i feel like these people are a little bit of like a pushover maybe like it's really easy it's really easy to overpower them for some of you uh and they just were not able to kind of they weren't able to make it clear that they wanted to move forward uh, away from this connection so they did something to betray you to get you to want to break up with them 
Um, if that wasn't your situation, uh, part of the reason why these people entertained a third party, if it was romantic, is these people have, um, like I said, very little control over their impulses. These people are underdeveloped when it comes to their maturity. Um, and I'm also seeing for some of you that these people may actually have an addiction, a sexual addiction, and this interfered with their decision making some of you this person they may have an addiction to something else they could have a substance abuse problem and because uh, they were under the influence this is the reason why they betrayed you you know if they weren't under the influence i don't feel like they would have done this for some of you um other reasons that i'm seeing here especially with this hangman reverse this represents someone who's very selfish and self-centered they don't really care how their actions are impacting other people and the other reason i'm seeing here why this person may have betrayed you guys it more it more so pertains to situations where this person got competitive with you um and that's pretty much the reason why you know they were insecure uh, a lot of their fears got triggered in this connection, you know, for whatever reason, something happened between the two of you where the dynamic switched because a fear of theirs and insecurity of theirs got triggered. Uh, so they ended up betraying you uh, because of these fears around either failure. You know, usually people become very competitive because they have those types of fears being triggered. Um, some of these people are very much unaware of the impact that they're their vices and addictions and their shadow is affecting their decision making um these people have a lot of healing to do the six of swords reverse this is someone who has not really put in a lot of work when it comes to addressing their shadow aspects their addictions their unhealthy behavioral patterns okay i'm also seeing here and this isn't for a lot of you this person ended up bringing a third party into your connection I don't feel like you guys were actually officially dating, but there was an insecurity triggered here with this person. Like you would leave them or you would reject them if things got serious, they would lose you. Uh, some issues around abandonment. So I feel like in their eyes, they were leaving you for someone else before you could leave them for someone else. It was like, let me get you before you get me type of energy. I don't feel like that is a dominant energy here that only pertains to a few situations. So only take it how it resonates, guys. Do not force a message to fit your situation if it does not sound like your experience. So that's all I'm seeing with this group around uh, why they betrayed you. I did pull uh, two additional cards for you guys around advice Spirit has for you with this situation. And for this group, I pulled Inner Peace and Power Reverse. So I feel like with these cards, Spirit is really wanting you guys in this group to focus on cultivating more peace in your life. I feel like this situation really took you guys out of your power. It really had you guys kind of questioning yourself and your self-worth. And I feel like right now, you know, Spirit wants this group to focus on their mental health uh cultivating more peace like i said so that you can step back into your power these cards are about integrating this lesson recognizing healing you need to address within yourself kind of detaching from this from an emotional standpoint so you can be a little bit more objective so you can understand maybe some of your blind spots um with your connections or red flags you may miss about people so that you don't repeat this kind of experience or you can you know because sometimes you can't prevent certain things from happening to you but uh you can uh use the experiences that you have had to make smarter choices in the future when you are when you encounter similar energy okay guys in group one uh, I hope that this reading was helpful to you and it resonates. If it was, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you would like to see more readings like this in the future, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group two, okay? Bye. Hey, group two, if you chose this image, this is your reading for why did they betray you? I want to first take a look at characteristics of these people. Uh, during this portion of this reading, this is where you guys will be able to identify whether or not you picked an accurate pile. If this does not sound like your person or your experience, please return back to the selection portion of this video and try again. Okay, so for characteristics of those in group two, I pulled 
Three of Swords Reverse, Temperance, and Judgment. Okay, so characteristics of this person. So I feel like these people in group two, this person, they're really good at presenting something on the surface that is not a reflection of what's happening beneath the surface with them. Uh, in other words, I feel like these people are actually struggling with a lot of emotional pain, loss, trauma, but on the surface, they present something quite different. You know, they seem uh, calm, cool, collected, well balanced. They seem like they're in their power. They seem like they are on their path fulfilling their purpose and their journey. I feel like these people give a really good first impression. Uh, but what I'm seeing though with the combination of these cards is that these people are actually vultures. They're con artists. Um, these people are good at acting and covering up how they are truly feeling. I feel like these people, they go around and find others that they can latch on to uh, because they can either one, recognize your potential and recognize that you have a high calling and they want to kind of intertwine themselves with you. So when you are flourishing, they're benefiting from, you know, you being successful or in your power or in your purpose. They want to like they're bandwagoners almost, uh, but under the disguise of being um, supportive um, or like they have your best interest at heart. Some of these people actually go around and look for people that are in pain that are struggling with their own vulnerabilities or their or they could have like fresh wounds or wounds that they haven't quite you know healed um they look for the wounded to exploit whatever their pain is whatever their insecurity is so that they can get from them what they want um i feel like these people are you know I feel like these people are just very manipulative. Like this energy just feels very predator almost. So let's take a look now at what these people actually did to you guys. I pulled the King of Cups, Seven of Swords reversed, and the Magician. Yeah, definite con artists, emotional manipulating, manipulators. Um, I feel like these people promised you guys a lot. You know, they they fed you either this like idea, this dream. Uh, they may have tapped into your vulnerabilities and insecurities and exploited it. Um, all of this just to take advantage of you. Um, I also feel like a lot of these people, when they got found out, they snuck away and completely try to at least avoid responsibility. Some of these people weren't able, weren't successful at uh, avoiding all responsibility, but there were some people here who feel, who I feel like, you know, did just sneak away and, you know, like a true con artist came in and they came in swiftly and left swiftly once they got what they were, once they got what they came for. Um, so why did they do this? Why are they like this? Why did they betray you in this way? I pulled the moon, queen of swords, and the hierophant. So basically what these cards say to me about this person and their character is they don't know any other way to be. I feel like they are fully subscribed to this dog eat dog competitive, you know, you got to get yours before they get you type of energy. This person is very in like this cold, detached, calculated energy. They feel like, you know, I feel like these people have had a lot of, I feel like these people have had a lot of pain and loss in their lives, a lot of betrayal themselves. And because of that, they kind of 
confront life with this mentality of you can't trust anybody. You have to get over on people before they get over on you because that's all that they've seen. That's all they've experienced, you know, specifically in their childhood, you know, this hierophant. This has something to do with their upbringing. Um, I don't even feel like these people are like kind of aware of why this is messed up all the way. I feel like they think this is just how the world is, you know? Um, these people, their programming is, is pretty, it's pretty dark, you know, unfortunately their experiences that they've had this far have kind of like created this monster that they've become, you know, with exploiting people, taking advantage of people, because that's what their experience has been like. Um, I feel like these people very much believe that there's not enough in this world for everyone to be happy, to be successful, to have love. But I feel like these people, just because of their conditioning, because of their childhood, because of their childhood traumas, they have a very distorted um, perception of what's right and what's wrong. So... What does spirit have to say to you guys about this experience, about this person? I pulled security and potential reverse. So I feel like what spirit is trying to say here is that this person was able to betray you, gain power over you, hurt you because they were able to identify a wound that you need to address or an insecurity that you have that makes you vulnerable to this type of manipulation and exploitation. Uh, this person, I feel like has been doing this for a very long time. So they're very good at this. It wasn't like, this wasn't like their first rodeo, okay? Like this person I feel like is seasoned in manipulating people. Uh, I, and, I, and I feel like, you know, the universe brought this connection into your life to make you aware of these types of people that do exist and why it's important for you to have strong boundaries and why it's important for you to address your insecurities and to address your, your healing. Because when you do not safeguard yourself in these ways uh, with having strong boundaries, with spending time on your healing so that you are in power and you are aware of how your traumas, your wounds, or even your shadows may be affecting uh, your choices when it comes to who you are connecting yourself to. All of this was brought up in this situation that the universe, that spirit would like you guys to address. You know, this is a learning lesson, it's a learning process. Um, especially if you're an empathic person like myself, this is probably one of the hardest things to teach yourself is to recognize that not everyone has a heart like you. And there are a lot of people out there who want to exploit your kindness and your generosity. You know, they want to take advantage of that because they don't have any way of generating those feelings on their own. Okay. They need your source. It's like, um, these people are, are narcissists for sure. And you guys, empaths are amazing narcissistic supply because empaths just pour out love and wanting to help and wanting to heal and if you're not careful about who you connect yourself to you'll be around people like this who just take and take and take from you and then they leave you with all this emotional turmoil mental turmoil they drain you of your energy so that's what's happening here for you guys in this group, group two. Spirit wants you guys to address the issues you have around your boundaries so that this type of situation does not repeat itself. I also am getting this message that a lot of you may be being pretty hard on yourself for not recognizing what this person was doing to you and how they took advantage of you. And I feel like Spirit wants you guys to work on, you know, forgiving yourself for that. Um, forgiving yourself for not knowing what you didn't know until you had this experience. You know, that's the whole point of you having this experience is so that you can recognize these patterns and behaviors in people so that you don't have to become a victim to these games, to these manipulations, to these predators, okay? 
Uh, the next card I pulled for you guys as advice is don't settle. I feel like a lot of you in this group, you guys are sleeping on your own potential. And I feel like this makes you vulnerable to these types of energetic vampires, these types of predators, these types of exploiters, because you're not recognizing how powerful and how amazing you really are, okay? So don't sleep on yourself, you know? I feel like this group, you guys have some work to do around, like I said, your boundaries and, you know, healing past wounds that leave you vulnerable to be taken advantage of by people like this. The final card I pulled is do not compromise your integrity to get what you want, assert yourself. Again, we got this repeated message around your boundary. So I hope that this reading resonates with you guys and you guys are able to do some uh, self-reflection and inner work around protecting yourself from uh, attracting this type of energy to you or from allowing this energy into your life. Okay, guys, in group two, I hope that this reading resonates with you and it was accurate and helpful. If it was, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more readings like this in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group three, okay? Bye. Hey, group three, if you chose this image, this is your reading for why did they betray you? So let's first take a look at characteristics of this person that you are inquiring about. If this does not sound like your person or the situation that you experienced, please return back to the selection portion of this video and try again. During this part of this reading, this is how you will be able to tell whether or not you picked an accurate pile. But for this group, I pulled Four of Cups reversed nine of cups reversed and ten of cups reversed so so this person i feel like is really struggling with emotional emptiness rage you know i feel like they're not doing the work either to understand what's going on with them emotionally um instead it's like their shadow has taken control over them and has made them maybe even very narcissistic or vain or selfish, very competitive. Uh, they may have a lot of emotional outbursts or they can repress almost everything, you know, and it can feel kind of, you know, you could feel kind of uneasy around these people because you can feel that they're, they're suppressing so much. Um, I'm also getting this image of this person just consuming at a ridiculous rate because they are trying to fill a void and when I say consuming I'm not just talking about food you know it can be food it can be alcohol it could be uh substances a substance abuse issue uh it can be their connections like people collecting others you know like they collect relationships to fill that void that emptiness they feel uh, they could have shopping addictions. You know, I'm seeing all kinds of vices here really just dominating this person's behavior and um, their actions and their emotional stability. Like, I just feel like, yeah, like there's just this void and anger and imbalance. And a lot of these people are struggling with depression. Um, some of you may not even realize this about this person because on the surface, their life could look really good, you know, but beneath it, it's like a very shallow and empty existence, you know, their connections are shallow and empty. Uh, even if they have a lot of people around them, their relationships don't have any real substance, you know, the ones that are around them. Um, yeah, there's this desire for change, for things to be different this person has that desire but they lack the insight or the motivation or the discipline to make these changes uh, or they can just be avoiding altogether of confronting uncomfortable feelings you know um so what did these people do to you guys in this group how did they betray you i pulled two of swords reverse Knight of Wands and Queen of Swords Reverse. So I feel like these people definitely 
brought a lot of mental turmoil into your life uh, through their actions, through their impulsiveness, their impulsive decisions, through maybe even their reckless behavior. Um, I do feel like a lot of these people, like I said, are drama queens or ten or or they are desperate to be the center of attention. Um, and I feel like these are this is a type of energy where it's like any attention to them is good attention, even if it's like bad attention. It's just as long as eyes are on them, uh, as long as they are affecting others, like it gives them a sense of meaning um but it's very temporary it's very fleeting uh this person i feel like is like in that search for significance you know um but i do feel like these people i do feel like some of these people got very competitive with you they may have talked a lot of shit about you behind your back to other people to mess up your connections and mess up other people's opinions of you to influence their opinions of you to something negative i feel like these people they would deny that they did this too um i feel like a lot of the sabotage that these people in this group did was behind your back like in your face they'd be one way like acting all positive and like things were cool but behind your back they were like plotting and calculating and messing with things and blocking opportunities and just talking down on you like this person was like very two-faced is like the energy i'm picking up here with this group i'm not seeing anything specific like the other groups as much when it comes to like this type of relationship what you guys meant to each other i feel like this kind of goes uh across the board to lots of different connections um but i do feel like the energy here is more platonic connections um the knight of wands though this is someone who is like driven by their passion and their impulses and they can have like you know, if this is the shadow aspects of it, they can have a, an overactive or hyperactive sex drive. So they can be very reckless um, in their personal connections and relationships. So uh, that's not the dominant energy here, but that can apply to some of you. Um, but yeah, I feel like these people really mess with your mental stability. I feel like they the way they betrayed you is like more so how they were talking about you when you weren't around how they were calculating ways to prevent you from taking the spotlight being the center of attention or being more successful than they are uh more quickly than they become successful like they you know like the the knight of wands this person's like in a race you know they're they don't know how to set a pace they're speeding to that finish line and i kind of feel like that's how this person's energy was they saw you as someone that they had to race against um in order to get blessings or you know whatever it was it was their objective so take it how it resonates uh, now let's look at why these people betrayed you i feel like we kind of covered it a little bit uh, but we'll get some more details with these cards that i pulled and the first is Four of Wands reversed, Five of Swords, and the Sun. So especially with the Sun, we have issues here with narcissism and vanity, okay? Needing to be the center of, you know, the center of attention, uh, having the spotlight on you. Um, the Sun is uh, ruled by Leo. Um or the sun rules Leo and shadow aspects of that sign uh, pertain to that type of uh, energy of being kind of self-centered and not really caring about how your actions are affecting other people. And we get that repeated message here with this five of swords um, and this person being very competitive, wanting to be the winner, wanting to be number one, wanting to be on top. All right. This person has some serious survival issues, okay? They have some serious scarcity mindset issues. Uh, their stability. I feel like these people are constantly stressing out or freaking out over their stability or their finances or their success. 
like success we get this twice that is like heavily on this person's mind being the most successful person out of you know a group of people out of a group of people if you guys were in like a friends group or within your family um they need to be number one and i feel like being in this mindset of constantly looking at other people as competition is constantly looking at other people um as a threat to you this is why this person betrayed you guys in this group okay so i'm also seeing here that this person you know like i had said before i feel like these people struggle uh emotionally with depression and it's like they're trying to get this happiness and this joy that's represented by the sun, but they're doing it in underhanded ways. <laughs> they're doing it in such sneaky ways and calculating and conniving and just very, um, some of these people even malicious, you know, they, they're getting malicious with their behavior just so that they can be uh, on top of the winner. Um, but they're doing all this. They're destroying the stability in their connections. They're destroying, they're burning bridges, you know, like this person, I feel like they don't care who they throw under the bus. You know, if it means if it's you, if you are standing between them and their happiness, they will gladly throw you under the bus. They will not hesitate. You know, if you are in between them and their goal and what they think is going to bring them that joy that they are so desperately trying to have that fulfillment, that success that they are so desperately trying to have, they will not hesitate to flip and turn on you. And I feel like that's what happened here with you guys. Um, regardless of what their end game was, their goal was, whatever it was they were after, you guys were in between them and that. So that's why they betrayed you guys in this group, okay? So uh, I pulled a couple of cards here, additional cards for you guys around advice that the universe has for you with this situation, this experience, and this person. I pulled happiness reversed, wisdom, Six of Swords and Four of Cups. We keep getting this Four of Cups repeated here. And it's interesting that we got the Four of Cups and the Happiness Reverse because I feel like these cards are really saying that for you guys about this experience, it's important for you to move away from it. If you are not, you know, if you have not severed ties with this person, uh, this person will drag you down with them. Um, this person will block your own healing. This person... You know, because they are going about things the way they, because they are going about things the way they have been, because they are not willing to do that inner work, I feel like these people, they're in that energy of constantly looking for that come up, the easy way, the quick way, the way they can dominate, whatever, whatever makes them the winner. Um... Because they're in that energy, they lack that wisdom of understanding that happiness is not like a destination. Happiness is not something that you win. It's something that you cultivate. It's not something that can come to you from external stimuli. It can't come from things that you buy. It can't come from your relationships, your connections. It doesn't come from, you know, obtaining a certain level of success. Happiness has to be an inside job. It has to come from within. And because these people do not understand that, they're constantly going to be on this quest of consuming at a ridiculous rate, consuming um, energy, uh, connections, people, you know, whatever it is to fill this void, to fill this emptiness. You know, I feel like this is this person. They have so much going on for them but because they are not doing the internal work because they are not working on their emotional well-being their spiritual health they don't appreciate what they have i feel like this person or these people they may have a lot in their life going on for them that they have to be grateful for and you know it doesn't matter how much they have it's never enough they can never fill that void and with these cards, I feel like Spirit is saying that you guys need to, if you haven't already, start creating space and distance from this person because energy is contagious and this will impact and affect your healing. 
Okay, guys, in group three, I hope that this reading resonates with you and it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more readings like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video, okay? Bye!